hey y'all welcome back to my channel chill with me t you guys today we are doing arby's i've been waiting to do this video because oh excuse me why am i burping already because i cheated and took a bite and i did anyways so <clears throat> so today you guys i'm trying their new prime rib cheese steak and from the looks of it y'all it looks kind of bomb can't even lie can't even hold you and there we go already with the b s stop it little boy they just took him on a walk and everything. Long walk, and he's still not satisfied. We got the curly fries in the house. They do have the crinkle fries, and I had that once before. And let me tell you, they are salty. So I'm good on that. And I got some lemonade. You guys, so I'm not going to lie and say that, oh, this is my first time trying the prime rib. Because it's not. But it is my first time because they sell it a regular way. And then they also sell it a spicy way. So I did in fact have the spicy one not a big fan of that at all so i thought i'd try the regular one here with you guys so it is it's good i mean probably should have got extra meat or whatever but so we'll try it without me putting my sauce on it mm. it ain't bad you know, come from Arby's, could be worse, but I don't know, it's okay. So how was you guys Sunday? I hope y'all enjoyed y'all weekend. I hope y'all gave God praise and thanks today. Oh my God, sorry. Dear God, thank you for giving me a wonderful day today. Thank you for letting this weekend be a smooth sail. Thank you for blessing me with this food, and um, please bless everybody watching and continue to bless me. Amen. So, um, did y'all make the church? Um, fun story about church. My daughter asked me about going to church that she wanted to go to church. So, I'm probably I'm gonna make that happen for her because she even stated. She wants to get baptized. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Snick, cut it out. Y'all, this sriracha is good, but. Woo! Lemonade's all right. I love how they have like the bell peppers because that's how I eat mine. Y'all, there's this one place out here where I live. And I got my chicken again. What the heck? And I ate once from now once and it wasn't fresh because my brother had bought it for me but by the time i got there it was like a little later so anyways when i got there i um ate it so it wasn't fresh it wasn't warm it was cold and it was so flipping good. Ooh, best cheesesteak I've ever had. So I'm going to eventually do a video on that. And I will tell you guys who, like what place it's from. Because it's not like your staple or a trademark place or whatever. And it's very good. It's just like an in-town business, like a hometown business. Um, I'm telling you, it was so good. So good. Um, nothing crazy happened today, y'all. I know they told you that this work weekend was the best weekend. I had quite some time. Wasn't too much going on at work. 
nothing. <laughs> oh, let me tell y'all. So, <laughs> first thing, I'm at work and I'm passing my meds. And we have a loudspeaker system. So, like, if there was, like, a fire or they do morning announcements to, like, tell the residents what's for breakfast, lunch, dinner, the weather, the date, whatever. So... I'm into second shift and on second shift they they never use that system unless they're doing like a fire drill or an elopement drill, which means like if like one of the residents were to get out of the building. So I'm passing my pills. And all of a sudden, the, I hear the loudspeaker click on. And mind you, where I work, there is like several different buildings and hundreds of employees. So, you can't tell who did it, where it come from, right? So, it beeps over. And I'm thinking, what the heck is in the fire drill? I was about to have a whole attitude. Like, oh my God, pass some pills. Huh? Yeah, whatever. No. Somebody started playing, and I can't think of the song because I'm not familiar with it, but it was a country song about, like, quitting your job. I hate this job. I quit. Over the loudspeaker. Man, I start dying laughing. I'm like, who in the hell did that? Oh, my God. So, I don't know who did it, but whoever did it, Use something else. I thought it was funny. I know they were like. I know my supervisor was like, what the heck? It mattered in heck. <laughs> I don't know. And then. I pull up an Arby's because I hear some of most of our fast food restaurants are still closed on the inside so I've been a drive through and this older woman was walking to the door to go in and when she got to the door the door is locked because they're not, they don't have the lobby open. And my windows is up. And I hear her say, are you being serious? What the F y'all? Da -da -da -da. And starts walking back to her car. And I'm thinking, what the heck? I start rolling. I start rolling like she is mad about that. Mm -mm. I was rolling. So, I have another challenge coming, y'all. <laughs> and I don't know why I do this stuff to myself, but I'm going to do it. I text my, my niece, Jada and Samaya today with the challenge I'm going to do with a question mark. And Samaya, she's at work right now. She texts me back and she said, yeah, I'll do it. And then my niece, Jada, texted me back and was like, when? <laughs> so, y'all, pray for me. Because... I don't know why I do it. <laughs> I don't know why I do it. And I'm really going. Go. I ain't got no business doing these challenges, but I am. This is good, guys. Look at that. I think it's it's good, like a good cheesesteak for being fast food, you know?
But ain't nothing better than an authentic Philly cheesesteak, though. And that place that I'm talking about, authentic. So good. So, I was watching football today. I'm not really watching it, but catching bits and pieces. And I guess it's still the plan. Ben needs to hang it up. Like, really. Hang it up. Just stop. So, it stopped a long time ago. He has, like, some kind of peck injury. So, that game was horrible. The Bengals whooped them. <laughs> Made with bet with my boyfriend. He lost. He went for the Steelers and I went for the Bengals. Or whatever you call them. And of course, my, our team, the Patriots, lost. Win some, you lose some. And Buccaneers are struggling right now. <laughs> Mr. Brady. If you like football, let me know down in the comments what your um what your football team is. <clears throat> I'm so happy to be off tomorrow, y'all. So happy. I love being off. If I could be a stay at home mom for like a month, I'd be happy. But I only say a month because I get bored. I'm gonna need something to do. I'm telling you, this sriracha, my dad. You know what is so good with sriracha sauce on it? Spaghetti. With this one. Spaghetti. Or chili. Oh my god. Elevates it. Because it's hot. But it's also. Flavorful. Speaking of hot. And flavorful. But love just announced that. She's. Getting closer to. Releasing her hot sauce. Y'all. Good job. That, that woman is killing it. But, you know, I'm going to be the one to buy it. I like her stuff. Like, I feel like her taste buds and mine are similar. Other than she likes seafood and I don't. But, My one coworker at work was like, T, when are you going to do your video of you trying seafood? And I'm like, I will. I will do it. Eventually. Eventually, Evangeline. Y'all, I have not. Didn't Pose come back out? I think they did. I and mean, I haven't been watching it. Mm. I need to. That shit was so good. Pete Dolly, you need to hurry up and come on back. That's for sure. I just noticed this. It was like that. Ain't nothing but the dog. Nothing but the dog. This my I'm about to be full dance. <laughs> I'm about to be full. Mm. I don't know you guys.
My son was watching the game when I came in too. He was like, Mom, barely slid into the second. I'm like, oh, that's the son. Hmm. He loves trying to grow his hair out. But he wasn't trying to take care of it. So, I, I mean, we, I, that was the deal. You want to try and grow your hair out, make sure you take care of it. You know, keep up with it. He wasn't. He wasn't picking it out. I had to pick it out. His dad had to pick it out. Then, getting in the shower, not really scrubbing it. So, he lost the deal. We gave him the chance. And in life... You have to teach your kids these things like when you want something, you have to work for it. And if you don't do the work, then you don't get it because I'm not going to have you walking around here looking crazy because you're lazy and no one take care of it. Uh-uh. So his dad said, zoop. I'm not mad about it or anything, but. Well, excuse me. Right, you got to teach your kids responsibilities. Mm-hmm. You know, day at work was like a moment of, I don't know, how to explain it. Like a moment of like, people, there's a lot of people who really didn't that don't know the struggle, you know, and I say that like because let me tell you a story. So, um, one of the girls came upstairs and was laughing at Kikia. I'm like, it was so funny, you know, and so she proceeds to tell me about. One of the girls downstairs, she was following this group on Facebook of like, and they would like showcase like produce and food or whatever. And they were just giving it away and whatever. So she finally caught a day that she was able to go to this place where they were giving food. So she's thinking that she would have to like pay for something or whatever so she went there she was so happy she got all kinds of vegetables and she got all kinds of different things they even gave her a bin with stuff loaded in there all she had to do was sign her name on a paper that was it she thought she done made it this girl did not realize that she was at a food bank so, of course, she felt awful after she found out. Because she's like, oh, my God, this is for people in need. And I'm not in need. I just, whatever, whatever. But I'm sitting there thinking, how didn't you know that was a food bank? And then I forget that there's a lot of people that didn't have to use food banks. And a lot of, you know, their parents didn't need food banks or whatever the case may be. Or maybe they didn't weren't aware that their parents were going to food banks. But I can remember... So many times my grandmother went to like food banks, different food banks, every different, you know, different days during the week, a food bank, does, you know, does whatever. And I remember doing that. And half the time that's how we ate and how we got meals and whatever the situation is. So that was just like a surreal moment. Like, how didn't you know, you know, I was a food bank and that's fine, but it's just like, you because you were in something or you went through something and even vice versa like maybe she never knew so she didn't even know there were such things as a food bank or whatever but like when you were in the struggle you assume that everybody's in the struggle or everybody would know about it and you forget that not everybody is in the struggle not everybody was and people don't know about stuff like that so i don't know I, and i did giggle because i like you know it is kind of funny when you when you think about it, but then when you really think about it, it's like, you know, yeah, you know, but I'm very grateful for those food banks because, like I said, half the time that's 
where our food came from, bread, whatever. Although back then, I think it was a lot easier to get food bank food or whatever to go to the food bank. Now they want like birth certificates for all the kids, a utility bill to, yeah, oh. like, if you're to help, you're to help. Like, why do you need all these things? But I get it because there are some people in the world that do take advantage. So I get it. So anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for coming back again. And if you're new, make sure that you subscribe. Make sure you tap that notification bell. Make sure you leave me a comment down below saying, hey, new subscriber, thanks. So that way that I can start shouting you guys out. Um, and just to show some love and, and, and thank you for your support. Uh, make sure that you guys start leaving me some questions down below. Any kind of question, you know, as long as it's appropriate, I'm going to answer it. And so that way I can do a and a video um, or whatever. And also, if you guys want me trying seafood, a video of me trying all the seafood, leave a shrimp emoji down below. And get this video to five likes. And we'll do it. I'm sure it's going to be hilarious and I'm dramatic, so it's going to be, it's going to be lit, as the kids would say. So you guys, again, thank you for coming back and watching me. Make sure that you guys do what I said and leave them comments down below. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe, tap the notification bell. Um, and make sure you guys stay blessed and be kind even when nobody else is. All right, y'all. Peace.